Well, good morning. Last night after dinner, I ended up just going back to the apartment and hanging out with the girl I'm staying with. She's very nice. And that was it. I kind of went to bed early. It was a good, good day. Today we're back at it again. Park Avenue has the most pretty flowers every year. Today, I'm going to a museum called the Cloisters, which is like a medieval castle thing. The problem is that it's on 190th Street, which is more than 100 blocks away. I'm not walking there because that would be crazy. I'm going to walk across Central Park and then catch the train, take the train up to Washington Heights, I believe is the name of the neighborhood. They're tearing down the marquee that they used at the event last night. So last night my phone died at dinner, but on the way back I stopped at the Met because they were having the Met Ball and I wanted to see if I could see some famous people. I got there after they did their big red carpet arrivals. Um, but there were still some people milling around at the time, and I definitely saw some familiar faces. I got to see Jennifer Lawrence and Sarah Jessica Parker, who everybody's talking about today with her giant weird headdress. It looked super weird in person, I promise. There were a couple other people that I saw who, like, I knew were famous, like I recognized them from something, but I couldn't put a name on them. I guess that when I got there, I had just missed Bahati, Prince, Lou, and Adam Levine, which was a big disappointment. But that's okay. It was still kind of a fun experience. Walking through Central Park has been one of my favorite things about this trip. It's beautiful and quiet and there are so many people here just like wandering around and I love that. There's also lots of little surprises, little statues and stuff. It's neat. Also on Saturday, it took me more than an hour to cross it because I kept getting lost. This time, down to a 15 minutes. Great. Popped out on West 85th Street, so now we're going to walk up until we find the subway, which appears to be actually right over here. And we're going to go get on a train. <laughs> Okay, I thought this neighborhood was scary, but it's not too bad. It's not, not too bad at all. I would be concerned about taking the train at night, but it's 10 in the morning. So it's not too bad. I'm in this lovely park right now, just walking. Walking on my way to the cloisters. Things are good. <sighs> Got lost. Thankfully did not have to ask for directions. Found my way. <laughs> well, there was a sign. There was a sign that said cloisters this way. Um, it's not a lovely path, I'm really enjoying it. It's a steep walk though, much hill. There's the cloisters, it's like a castle. here. I definitely think it was worth the trip. I mean, you have to take the train way out of Manhattan. It's quite far north. It's totally worth it. I'm really enjoying this place. And it's got a pretty great view. So the deal with the cloisters is this random guy just decided he wanted to build a castle in New York. So, like a normal person, he went and got parts of castles from Europe and brought them over and built this thing. It's parts of lots of different castles and paintings from lots of places and carvings and stuff. It's really interesting. It is owned and operated by the Met now. It's curated in much the same way. All the galleries are laid out really logically and they all have different themes like the unicorn room or the Chinese room. But now it is noon and I'm done at the cloisters. It's time to go do some more vain things. We're gonna to go to the Fashion Institute of Technology to their costume museum. This does involve me taking the scary train twice with a transfer. I feel like I'm lost because the trail keeps going more and more uphill and at some point it should go downhill, you know, to the ground.
34 o'clock and I am ready to go back to the apartment. I've had a good day wandering around. I was a little bit disappointed at the library because the big reading room you always see the pictures of is closed, but that's okay. I don't mind. And then I'm going to go out to dinner. Okay, maybe a quick stop at Ann Taylor. Just a quick one though. So I ate dinner tonight at a restaurant called Flex Muscles that used to be located pretty close to my house on PEI when I was in high school. And I really liked it when it was there, but to be honest, it was really mediocre. And that makes me very sad. So to cheer myself up, I bought some cheesecake because I haven't had any New York cheesecake yet.